Due to me being the oldest in the tribe now, I, Meek Rat, became the chief of the tribe. This kind of seemed to be a bullshit decision, but I kind of just rolled with it. With the warehouse almost complete, I looked to expanding the kitchen. I was really sick and tired of cooking over this goddamn campfire, so I had my backer build a proper kitchen. It's not like we could cook a whole bunch anyways. We didn't have any place to store the food, so we just hunted one by one, making sure that we had just enough to get by. It took Mabacker about the same time to finish the kitchen as it did me to fucking cook a meal over this goddamn campfire. With the few stoves she was making, we would be able to cook our meals four times as fast now, making us feel like the real goddamn Iron Chef. We stored what we could in the warehouse, and I guess word got out of our presence here in the mountains, for more travelers started to visit. The marsh in front of the cave was something that you really didn't want to walk across. Nobody wanted to be knee deep in Shit's Creek. White and Mabacker finished the fence for the other animals that we were slowly taming in the wild, while Hawk did his thing and trained the ones that we already had. It took the travelers the rest of the day to make it to the entrance of the cave. We let them rest for the night, and early morning we traded what we could with them. We made off with a few clothing items, a head wrap for myself, and a few medical supplies for later. Later that week, some transients approached claiming that their friend had been taken prisoner and they needed ransom money. It was only 77 silver, and us coming from a similar position, we decided to help them out. I guess they got their friend back, and where they got their friend back from, that tribe wasn't too happy, because they sent a scouting party. <laughs> they should have fucking sent more. It was early, early morning when the drop pod crashed through the only part of our cave that actually had a roof, landing in the only fungus field that we had as well, contaminating it. As the lone gunman popped out, we opened fire, trading a few shots, realizing real quick that this wasn't the opportune moment to be shooting shit inside the house. We decided to beat the crap out of her instead. Two one! Once beaten into submission, we threw some handcuffs on her and took her deeper into the cave. Not only did we get our first actual weapon out of this, but we also had our first prisoner. The weapon was of poor quality. And she also says she did this for the clout. Whatever the fuck that meant. As everybody else continued working, I got to know our new, uh, found friend here. Her name was Elena, and she would prove to be pretty useful later on. For now, we made small talk and patched up her wounds. Another group of traders made it through the rain, and this time we bargained with them before the morning light. That way they can get up on their way. We got some more medical supplies, a bit more of food, and got back to work on expanding the warehouse. We were only halfway through fall and it was already 30 degrees outside. We continued storing resources as we could, and I began making coats so we can bundle up for the winter. What came next was the first of bad omens, for the very clan that burned down our village and killed our people had followed us to the mountains. They were not of this land, but they were definitely predators. They called themselves the Wicked, and they definitely lived up to that name. Once again, a single drop pod dropped through the only fucking roof that our cave had. Once he came out of the pod and we realized who he was, our instincts kicked in, and we immediately proceeded to beat the shit out of this dude. Two more! Thankfully, there was only one, because he proved to be a very formidable foe. Running a few blows on myself and white. He died right in front of our ritual tower. What a fitting end. With everything said and done, he threw his body in a ditch, and later that day I held a meeting. This would be my very first speech as a leader. We gathered outside and I greeted everybody as they approached. I made sure to look out into the marsh, that way I looked a little bit more wiser. You know, to give it that dramatic type of feel. So our presence was now noted in the mountain. Not only did traders know we were here, but so did our enemy. I made it a point to mention the traps that we had off front weren't going to be enough. We had to expand our defenses. We needed more weapons, better armor, and more people. Hawk and White were appointed as doctors. White was also appointed second in command. Gora was to be the animal tamer and cook, and Mabacker would do construction. Once the meeting was over with, myself and White had a meal outside and a little chit chat. Hey, puto, what the fuck are we gonna do about this, eh? I'm not really sure yet, but we'll figure it out. I cut the conversation real short, because I had to take a shit. I hit my exit stage left and called it a night. Towards the end of the fall, some plague ridden rats showed up. The dusk rat. While completely harmless, they brought with them a dry thunderstorm. The second of bad omens. Goro was quick to rush to the end and then we created to the east of our village as everything was starting to catch fire. With 
little to no fear, she dodges lightning as if it's in her nature. Zeus himself holding a grudge against her. Oh yeah, we I remember that day. I was shouting for help and shit, like, Ayuda, Ayuda! Hey, we need to put out the fire! I remember the homie Hawk, man, we call him Hawk cause he got them fucking eyes, bro. But yeah, man, he saw the little hogs needed help cause of the fire and shit, so he grabbed him and he took him to the fucking chicken pen. We only had like three hogs at the time, but they were fucking stubborn way, so Gar had to grab the other one from way down south and walk past the fire with him. But yeah, man, once the hogs were safe, we built the fence back up, and that was the end of fall pretty much. I remember the last group of travelers as well, man. They were pretty small. I think there was only like three of them. Uh, we got some snacks from them and a little bit of money on some clothes that we stole. But then, way, then, shit, Raspi came through. Raspi was from the Empire. We didn't really know what the fuck that was, but shit, he said he needed help, so we took him in, man. He was only followed by one dude, and that dude wasn't really that great. So what happened, they say, the way Mikrat describes it, this dude pulls up around the corner the way Raspi came in and he fucking barely misses him in la cabeza, man. So Raspi comes out, he's like, nah, I'm not gonna let the homies dip. So he cuts him off, right? And the dude pulls back and takes cover. Well, Mikrat says he had the perfect shot and he nails dude, right? He nails dude right in the fucking liver. Dude collapses. But yeah, like we said, we really didn't know what the fuck the Empire was at this point. And we started a whole bunch of shit. So first day of winter hits, and fuck man, it's already negative 12. We pretty much stayed inside and slept at this point. No animals were showing up and we were pretty much fucked. Three bad omens in, and damn man, shit was about to get super tough.